new at 530, a groundbreaking new documentary made by ABC News Studios digging deep into the historic prosecution that followed the deadly mass shooting at Oxford High in November 2021. A first look at the documentary shows Hannah St. Juliana's family reflecting on the tragedy. The project also focusing on the Oakland County prosecutor who became the first to criminally charge parents of a school mass shooter. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaked is going one on one with the filmmaker and a parent in the documentary. And he tells us about its purpose and how it aims to raise awareness. That new documentary comes out later this week, giving a behind the scenes look at the crumbly prosecution here. We're also hearing from the filmmaker and families in response. This is not about parents who just let their kid watch violent movies or play violent video games. This is about parents who neglected their son, ignored his cries for help, and then bought him a gun. It's a film more than two years in the making, focusing on the deadly school shooting at Oxford High School in November 2021. The first parents in America to be charged in a school shooting. Involuntary manslaughter charges against parents of the shooter at Oxford High School who killed four students and wounded others. It was a, a novel approach to accountability. Executive producer Cheryl Horner spoke with me today by Zoom after examining the case against Jennifer and James Crumbly up close. A case that led to two guilty verdicts and maximum sentences after two separate trials. What do you hope you're able to convey to the audience when they watch this documentary? I simply hope that they will watch it and and get a much deeper look at this case um, and the people involved. On many days, you and I sat next to each other in court. What was it like for you to spend more than two years working on this project? You're walking into a community of people who have been traumatized who have to show great respect and sensitivity. The documentary includes interviews with families of those killed and attorneys on both sides. Today I asked the father of victim Justin Schilling. More than two years later, what are families coping with on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, they, uh, you don't know if there's going to be something out there that triggers up some emotions, um, a song that comes on the radio. He purchased that gun for him with his money and bragged about it. The messages about LOL, don't get caught. Those were very, very concerning. Prosecutor Karen McDonald is shown in the documentary, carefully crafting her case, pouring through key evidence presented to jurors. Her office tells us she did not violate the judge's gag order by taking part in the film, and it was agreed the release would only come after the case was finished. That's probably not something that I really gonna watch initially. When you're out there on a national level and it's really, um, you know, it's like an open book to your life. There's still the, the one big missing piece that we don't have the accountability for here, and that's what the schools. The film will be released on the 18th, the trailer already gaining a lot of attention on a national level. The opposite of love is not hate. It's just being ignored. You don't get to walk away from that. You just don't. How do you feel about Karen McDonald and her team? I'm really uh, happy with their efforts. Um, I, I feel that they did a, a, a good job. You'll be able to see more clips from that upcoming documentary on our website, WXYZ.com. From Pontiac, Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action News. Thank you, Simon.